back in my high school days, I remember this teacher of drawing. Second, third lesson, she gave us a task which was describe this image, very vogue task. And then while we were writing this description, she was moving through the tasks, asking us, what do you see? And what I remember very well is that not a single description we were giving her was enough. Only years later, I got what she was trying to teach us. With a single image, even a simple one, you can extract hundreds of words and dozens of concepts. This reasoning is the basis of visual storytelling. By definition, to organize and build a narration through images. To better explain the concept, let's divide this word into its components which are visual and storytelling. So, visual. Information gathered through visual sources are, by fact, more easily retained in our long-term memory. Edgar Dale, an American pedagogist, made an experiment back in 1969. Dale made a presentation to a number of people, to some spoken, to others written, to others visual and verbal, and to others participatory. After shorter or longer period of that times, he was asking these participants, what do you remember of this presentation? Well, after three days, people were remembering only 10% of the written and spoken presentation, but 65 and 70% of the visual and participatory presentations. Dr. Lionel Burmark will say years later, words are processed by our short-term memory where we retain bits of information. Images, on the other hand, go directly into our long-term memory, where they are indelibly etched. Now about the visual storytelling part. Okay, question. How many hours we pass every day telling or listening to stories? Including stories listened or told to other people, stories heard from mass media, television, internet, or reveries, daydreaming, stories we tell to ourselves. Well, according to Professor Jonathan Gottschall, it is as much as eight hours a day. The reason can be evolutionist. From ancient times, we tell stories to spread information useful to adapt to environment. Information like where to find food, where to hunt, where to find shelter. We have no time to wait for evolution to make its course and grow as some gills. So we spread the information that using a hollow stick you can breathe underwater for a bit. This is one of the things that differentiate us humans from other animal species. We don't wait for genes, we spread information. An effective way is telling stories. Stories can do as much as change our brain. Quick example, 2007, Paul Zak, neuroeconomist, he made some people watch a cartoon. In this cartoon, a child runs all happy in the garden of his house, happy, happy child. But behind a window, his father looks him sadly. This poor child actually has brain cancer and is gonna die in a few months. This story was, of course, told in a much sadder way than I did, but interesting are the results. In the blood of the participants were found high levels of oxytocin, which is a hormone that raises empathy. After leaving the studio where this cartoon was projected, the people with the highest level of oxytocin were donating more than half the money they received from the experiment to a stranger in need. So basically what Pozak did was use visual storytelling to push people to give money to others. Recapping images, hard to forget. Storytelling, change our behavior. No wonder so that visual storytelling is one of the strongest instruments for companies and people who does social marketing. And I too will try to tell my story using visual storytelling. These are the statistics of my channel. So first, since this is a video, 
I'll put up a song fit for a storytelling. I'll use this ukulele one, used by every vlogger ever. There you go. Well, first mistake, must use we to create a sense of community. We went a long way. Sounds much better now. As you can see, if you put together the two numbers, you obtain 42, which, according to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, is the answer to everything, some kind of perfect number. And in case you're wondering just who in the world is Jumpy El Pese, well, last image, let's close with some generic sentences that are good for any situation. And a background that matches those. One last thing, this isn't the first example of storytelling you see in this video. Check back the video thumbnail. Blue Facebook plus red YouTube plus thumb up plus a guy looking at it astonished. Meaning, if you want to get visibility on social media, visual is king.